Okay, in the first video, some of the stuff I guess wasn't clear enough. Uh, the bottle, the tubing, and the bubble counter are pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, the Venturi in the top of the tank you really couldn't see, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to explain how I built that. Uh, the first thing is basically this is just all the stuff you can get from Home Depot. Small tubes, uh, it's half inch PVC fitting, stuff like that. Cheap, readily available. Okay, the Venturi. All it is consists of a short piece of PVC with a small tube drilled on an angle. Okay, like 45 or as close as you can get. It's kind of tricky drilling, but it's easy. It's plastic. Uh, basically, insert that tube in there on an angle, glue it, and I don't know if you can see this, but if you look in in the end there you can see that that is facing the direction which the water will flow by it that way it injects the CO2 into the water flow in the opposite direction that way you don't get back flow you know to cause it to push back through the system it'll actually help to pull it through with that angle on there and then basically all you do is you just use your fittings to tap that into your filter and then into your tank basically any way you need to need to go with it. Try to keep it at the top of the tank and have a fitting on the end to force the bubbles down that way they have maximum contact time with the water in the tank also. Uh, this over here is a compressed gas cylinder of CO2 and a regulator I found that I'm gonna try to convert over to be using that and when I figure all that out I'll try to get a video on here to show you how to do that and I'll, I'll tell you where I got these parts. They're pretty cheap. I thought I was able to find them pretty cheaply. Um, that's about it. Thank you.